The following content is not meant for children. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Elix, and this is Shadowrun Hong Kong. And we are right back where we left off here, back in our home port of Hioi. And we have to claim payments for our runs at the mission computer, maybe spend some of that money, and it looks like my friends have all been, have a chance to get even better. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Territoriality. Poison Fog is upgraded to Acid Fog, doing AP damage to those affected. Nice. Or Spiritualist. Shrine Spirits summoned by Gobat are now present for an additional turn before dispelling themselves for a total of three rounds. Ooh. Well, since I do the Spiritualist thing more, we're going to do that. Confirm. And while we're... Hold on a second. Let's put that down. No, no. I'll head over this way. While we're doing that, we can look at someone else. Oh, let's see. Red Samurai. Plus 100 damage can only attack stunned targets, cost 2 AP. And then gains ranged ability defensive or ghoul. Takes a bite out of foe, restoring 8 hit, point, eight hit points over 2 rounds and gaining 1 strength uh, through the consumption of their flesh. Oh, plus 2. Yes, that sounds good. I love self heal. Lethal Force or Crowd Control? Now it includes Lethal Shrapnel Filled Grenade. Now Flashbang that has a larger AoE increased by one tile in all directions. Let's go with Lethal Force. Let's see, Sabotage or Espionage? As well as Mini Launcher is now packed with Napalm Charges, igniting ta damaged targets. Targets will also. Targets on fire will also. Oh! That's nice. Gains a dual routine boost program, which increases persona speed while sneaking in the matrix by 40%. Does not st You know what? No. Sabotage. That... Fire good. Fire not bad. Fire good. And here we are. Back... Nope. No. Where did... Did we not go? We did not go. Thanks, game. Super great for you. Super grateful for that. Alright. Ah. Not that bad. We're coming back home. Safe boat. Not as good as danger boat. You enter the you enter the trawler to find your crew is gathered together waiting for you. Isabel uh, has her head buried in her PDA. The rest of them stand watching her, trying to be patient. Uh, did someone call a crew meeting? I told you guys I'm the one who gets to call a crew meeting. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Isabel paces uh, up and back, trying to decide how to begin. I've been doing my homework into the Josephine Sang and Sang Mechanical Services. Uh, you're pacing, so it tells me you found something. I assume it's just a standard under the mill mechanical service. You're pacing, so that tells me you found something. Oh yeah, I found something, alright. Isabel lifts her PDA to her face and consults her notes. In 2011, Sang Mechanical Services was a D-level corp floundering in the shallow end of the Hong Kong corporate pool. When Josephine Shui married into the family, Josephine thought it thought big. She can conceived of a massive project that she called catapult TMS into the big time. Something she called the Prosperity Project. Prosperity? That's what Raymond was mumbling about. Well, what is this project? Once upon a time in the nineteen hundreds, the walled city was densely populated slum. Something like thirty thousand people crammed into six and a half acres. Wait, I've heard this story before. It's a shithole. Hell on earth. Yada, yada, yada. That's today's walled city. The second walled city. The first walled city started life with well over a hundred years ago and lasted through both world wars and almost through the awakening. It was torn down in 1994 when the government had finally had enough. It has become such a haven for criminals that the cops would only enter large, well-armed groups. Sounds familiar. In 2021, Josephine Tseng proposed a vision of a new type of low-income housing project, the Prosperity Project. Self-contained, low-cost, walking neighborhood for the poor, but on a grand scale. The Prosperity Project would give Hong Kong's poor and the flood of refugees pouring into the country a place to call their own, something that felt more permanent than the sprawling city that spontaneously sprang up the first world city was demolished. The Prosperity Project would replace the tent city that would be symbolically built on the site of the old walled city. The slogan was, A Place of Dignity Where Prosperity Begins. 
The apartments weren't much bigger than the space that you get in your average coffin motel, but they were built around a plaza marketplace that contained goods, services, catering to the poor. The government forgot the lesson of the last walled city. Uh, they loved the idea of containing the refugees and the poor and only gave a few densely populated blocks. Kept them out of the public eye. Securing the contract catapulted Sang Mechanical Services fortunes ahead. Eventually put Josephine Sang and the Executive Council. Uh, one slum made her rich. It's a very big slum. Apparently that's what also beginning of series of lucrative building contracts that propelled TMS into the big time. Where's Raymond coming to all this? Raymond Black doesn't commit at all, but Edward Song Sang does. Josephine's husband or son? Son. Raymond Black was actually Edward Sang, the only son of Josephine Sang and her late husband, uh, Breakwater Sang. Edward was the charge of laying the groundwork for the walled city. Excavation utilities, running a power line, sewage, that kind of thing. So our secret foster grandmother is trying to kill us? Looks that way, yeah. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Remember that massive uh, gray water leak that flooded the basement back in 48? When we got back from the camping trip of the Salish, Ray screamed bloody murder about that. Yeah, remember what happened to Miss, uh, Mrs. Maloney? You mean her feet? Wu winces and lets out a grunt of disgust. They swelled like three times their normal size. Yeah, thanks for bringing back that memory. He sobers. But think about it. Did Raymond have any idea how to fix it? No. Ray didn't know the first thing about sewer lines. He hired a small army of plumbers, probably paid him double what the job was worth to fix the thing, and it still looked, almost took two months to get the leak under control. And just when put him in charge of the utilities? No wonder the walled, walled city smells like that. I don't think Raymond had anything to do with the utilities in the walled city. Well, that's um, certainly well known now. And that's a lot of karma. Let's go spend some of that. Hello, karma. Okay. So we did body last time. Though, I think it's not going to be a problem. Quickness. Uh, quickness. Use to calculate chance to hit range combat. Reduces the chance to be hit by enemy attacks. And then dodge is good. Yeah, we could really go with some dodge. Though our strength is uh, pretty nice. Close combat. Unarmed. Intelligence. Willpower. Willpower is good. And of course charisma. It can get new etiquettes, but... Uh... Right, strength is all topped off. Let's go with some more body. Additional essence. There we go. We'll convert. We'll confirm that and sit with the two karma that we got. Now let's go get some pay. Check your inbox for new messages. You have three unread messages. Auntie Chang and Josephine. Hey Seattle, I think I can add a little context to that thing between Auntie and Josephine thing. You know the thing that makes Auntie hit the sauce and talk revenge? The the combo of stuff is hard is hard in the stuff I put together myself, so your mileage may vary. For years the Yellow Lotus acted like a tax collectors within the Walled City. Since the Walled City was built by Josephine Tsang and the Yellow Lotus was run by Andy Chang, they must have had a working business relationship, for a while at least. From what Nightjar told me, he was her favorite, you you got that right. Auntie was known as a real up and comer back then. She was on the fast track to be the next Yellow Lotus 438. That's a big gig, Seattle. Money, power galore. Now you need to know that there was a lot of triads and corpse doing biz in the walled city. All sorts of stuff. Sometimes they worked together nicely and sometimes people got bloody. The way I heard it, Auntie came up with some sort of grand plan to consolidate businesses in the walled city. The power would be split between the Yellow Lotus and Sang's company and everyone else would get cut out. If her planned work, Auntie would rise to the Lotus like nobody's business, and Josephine Sang would uh, make long bank. There was a catch, though. In order for the plan to work, both women needed to jump through a lot of hoops. There'd be street-level maneuvering and power plays on Auntie's side, blackmail and negotiations at the corporate level from Josephine Sang. My info gets sketchy there, but from what I've pieced together, Sang went behind Auntie's back, took her, pla took her plan to the boss, the 438 named... Wu Long Fat. They cut kindly out of her own plan. 
Why did Sang do that? My guess is that she saw Anti as some sort of threat. People in the know say that uh, Wong Lun Fat is weak and greedy. She can be manipulated and her palm remains well greased. Long story short, power was consolidated in the walled city like Anti planned, only she didn't wind up getting any of it. She climbed up the lotus ladder, came to an abrupt halt, and she saw, and then a straw sandal, just like before, Sang's backstabbed her. And now she's stuck in Hioi like a fly in amber. I'd be pissed too if it were me. Got that. Cool. All right. Out of town. From Kindly Chang. I'm not in Hioi right now, so don't bother coming to see me. We'll talk when I return. Please continue with our business ventures in the meantime. You got it. Data retrieval. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your newfound success in the shadows. I've got another job for you, one that proved to be very lucrative indeed. I have been contacted by an employee of the Eastern Tiger Corporation. He needs you to steal some research data and biological samples from his employer. The man's name is Tigreth Wright. Until recently, he was researcher in a genetic engineering project. He was KG about the details, but I gather that it centered around uh, phenotypic alteration and postnatal genetic enhancement. Unfortunately for Wright, he's got a conscious, stupid man. Lucky for us, he's willing to pay to have his conscious assuaged. Wright's project was apparently quite horrible. Experiments on living children, total disregard for biochemical ethics or safety, and when Wright raised the concerns, he was taken off the project. He decided to step outside the bonds of law and expose their war uh, wrongdoing to the world. The snag, you see, is that his wife and child live in Seoul, Seoul, not quite the heart of Eastern Tiger's power, but close enough. He's afraid if he released the information himself, they'll be taken prisoner and used as leverage. The idiot should have thought that out before, but that's not my problem. The samples and data are currently on an Eastern Tiger cargo ship, the MV Nalshi, sailing near Hong Kong, on their way to Seoul. Uh, the storms slowed the ship down, so you don't have to go right away, but don't take too long. Yeah, we'll take the wrong. Cool. Lab Captain Joe Mano, when you're ready, you can find him down at the end of the pier parlor is on. He'll handle everything there out. Cool. Alright, we don't need old messages. Nope, nope, nope. Go back. Now, let's see. Access Shadowlands. Let's see. Post page, post data for sale. Escrow account. Go back. Claim payments. Claim payment for Museum Shipping Manifest. Yeah, 432 new yen. Not bad. And any keywords? Oh, oh god, lots. Looking for deckers. Want to trade eyes? We'll take anything. Oh boy. We're just gonna not really go through any of this. I saw Isabel. Newscaster. Sang Mechanical Services, a rising star. Oh, cool. There she is, Josephine Sang. Well, there we go. Punk Metal Hardcore. Looking for Decker. Hat. We're all sunk. All of us swim. Interesting. Urban planning, geophysics. Read more future of the city. This seems like a lot, like a rabbit hole. Okay. Well, that's it for now. Let's see. Let's uh. At the mission computer. I didn't die. Inbox no. Jobs directory. There we are. There we go. 1,600 new yen. Love it. The client is pleased with how you handled the situation. Rooster Lowe has been very contrite and forthcoming due to no small part of the violence in which you ex handled his opposition. You've even earned a little extra pay for taking out the talent. Your payment is attached. Kindly Chang. Cool. Well, we'll go back and uh, open jobs directory. Pending jobs. Cool. Well, that's it for that. There we go. Let's see if sleep will get us anything, because a nice rest between jobs is really nice. Ooh, how's the stash looking, by the way? 
There we go, I can get that back. Lovely. Rest. A stabbing pain in your stomach jolts you awake. Your entire abdomen is cramping up. You roll in your cot, willing the shooting pains that radiate from your stomach to go away. Your mouth is bone dry and your tongue is swollen. It feels thick and inaccurate. A useless slab of meat. A quick glance at your PDA tells you that it's 4 a.m. Outside your cabin, the rest of HEOA sleeps. All that you remember is your dream as you awoke from a horrible, unfulfilling yearning. A need to go to get where you're going first. Others were behind you. You could feel the heat of their breath on your neck. If you were to beat them to your destination, you could slam the door in their face, keep them out and away from what's yours. But if they overtook you, you would feel that terrible longing forever. As you grasp for your last fleeting memories of the dream, you wa a wave of exhaustion washes over you. It feels like you've been drugged. You collapse in your cot and onto your black, dreamless sleep. When you open your eyes again, the sun filters in under your, th do under your door. It's morning. Yay, it's morning. Well, let's get out of here and get started on our next plan. Now, let's see. How much money... Uh, 20, almost 25k. Nice. Yeah, we want to talk to the guy down at the docks. There we are. However, that, uh, Captain Jomo. Hello, Captain Jomo. However, that is a thing that we'll do next time. So here's where I'll say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course share, because sharing is caring. And uh, please check out the links down below, because that's where all the really good stuff is. Including my Discord server, where I hope to see each and every one of you there. Get your own personal hello, hello. Anyway, thank you for joining me, and I shall see you all next time. Bye.